Hello everybody, my name is Griffin and you are watching the Command Belly for our very first box opening and today I got something special for you. We're going to be opening 18 freaking pre-release kits. And that's 18 promos, so we're, we're going to be opening up a promo Ugin. Uh, and if we don't, then I will open up another 18 kits until we do. So this box that we have here of the 18 pre-release kits is brought to us by Game Grid Lehigh. They sponsor our show and our channel, and we super appreciate them. If you're in the Utah County area, please check them out. And another reminder to please like this video and subscribe. It helps us out, and we're really excited that you guys are here. So without further ado, let's just let's just jump into it. Now we've got 18 pre-release kits. That is, I, honestly, this set is blowing my mind. There's not going to be a Rin Seri in here because that's a buy a box promo for the a buy a box promo for the booster boxes. That's okay. Oh my word! Look at this. Hot diggity dog. That is so many pre-release kits. Okay, well let's just get started. Get this out of here. All right, so let's jump into it. So yeah, this set I'm really excited for. There's a lot of hot reprints. If you guys haven't seen our um, set review, then please go ahead and check that out. We'll link it in this video. We talk about all the cards that we think are pertinent in Commander. Wow, that's a pretty box. All right, let's open it up. What's our first promo of the day? It's a Thieves Guild Enforcer. What the heck? For one black, it's a 1-1 one -one with flash and it turns the... Whenever it or another rogue enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent mills two cards. As long as an opponent has eight or more cards in the graveyard, Thieves Guild gets plus two, plus one, has death touch. What the heck? Another rogue? I feel like rogues are one of those things that's very close to getting its own tribe and finally supported enough, but that is a, a, a pretty terrible rogue. Not happy with that as our first promo, but let's let's keep going. I don't actually know if they have the alternate arts and full arts specials in this set uh, in the regular booster boxes. I guess we'll figure it out. Oh, okay. So the way that these packs are going is we have the token, then the land, and then our rare. So let's put the token, the land, and our rare is... Oh, our foil is Rangbunctious Mutt. That is such a cute kitten. Kitten? What am I talking about? That's a dog. That's a very cute dog. Check that out. And then our rare is Baron Talarian Archmage. Uh, uh, Abstentiate Experimental Overload. Oh, we do get the, the pretty alternate art. So we've got a Teferi's Tutelage, which has the Teferi border on it. And each, uh, each Planeswalker has a couple of cards that are themed around them, and they have a border around it that, that is themed to them. So this one is one of Teferi's. Pretty cool. Silent Dart, Hunter's Edge, Infernal Scarring, Crypt Lurker, Titanic Growth, Amazing Card Unlimited, Burn Bright, Keen Glide Master, well, that's a nice card unlimited. Staunch Shield Mate. And a Bone Pit Brute. That is some crazy looking art. Alright, that's our first pack. You know what? I'm not upset about that. We've got a Foil Rambunctious Mutt. Alright, let's move on to pack number two. It feels so good to open up packs. Just just take a smell of this. Oh, that that is that is the smell of happiness. That is the smell of happiness. Okie dokie, let's take a look at this one. Alright. That is a freaking pretty angel token. Holy cow. There's something in this that makes angels. I'm sure we'll run into it at some point. Swift water cliffs. <gasps> Not only did we get Eugene, we got a full art alternate Eugene. Holy crap. Look at the way that the wing comes around 
and kind of covers the set symbol, making it seem like it's wrapping its wings around the card. That, oh my gosh, that is, that is absurd. Holy cow, that is so pretty. All right, uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Oh my word. Okay, well, let's keep going. <laughs> what the heck? That's I'm so happy right now. All right. Uh Palladium Mur. Do we even continue with this pack? Oh my word. Okay. Archfiend Vessel. Volcanic Geyser. Pitch Burn Devils. Legion's Judgment. Duress. Now that feels bad getting dressed with an Ugin in your hand. Uh Prismite. Lanawar Visionary, Colossal Dreadmaw. I am so happy that Colossal Dreadmaw is back in this set. This is the single best card that Wizards has ever printed. And uh, if you don't have a copy, you need to pick one up right now. Uh, Sanguine Indulgence, Destructive Tampering, Read the Tides, and a Valorous Steed. So far, some pretty, pretty okay reprints in the common slot. And then... Good reprints in the, the uncommon. We got Claudia Murr and Volcanic Geyser. Those are some good uncommons. Holy cow. Man, whoever was going to open this in their pre-release was going to scream. And everybody was going to know it. Alright, let's go ahead and, and move this over here. So we got the, the promo pack, foils, mythic, rare, uncommon, common, and... All the other garbage that comes in these packs. Woo! Oh gosh, I'm struggling with this one. My hands are shaking. We do have the alternate art cards. And you know, I love it that Wizards has now included these alternate art cards inside the regular booster packs. You don't have to get a collector's booster to get this Eugene. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's keep going. A Scavenging Ooze, that is a good reprint to see. This is a very popular card, especially in Commander. Uh, we got our first Shrine, Sanctum of Shattered Heights. Um, let's see if Peter wants this. Uh, pain, Rain of Revelation, that is a, that is a very pretty art. Uh, shout out to Niels Ham. I love art where it's just, it, it it's almost seems like the colors are melting. It's very pretty. And then a Liliana's Devotee. It's a zombie lord. And beginning your end step of creature die this turn, you may pay one or black if you do create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. That's pretty good in zombie decks. We've got a dove. Ha! Huh, that was a fun card in Dominaria. Swift Response. Shock. Shock is now back in standard. It's a good feeling. Uh, Blood Glutton. Uh, Citizen Training. I feel like we just saw this card. I feel like it's still in the standard. I don't know. Who knows? I don't play standard very much. Uh, Village Rights. Tome Anima. Can't be blocked as long as you've drawn two or more cards this turn. That's pretty good. Uh, Defiant Strike. Target creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn and draw a card. Unake Ogre. 4 2 Ogre for a tune red. And a Library Larcenist when it attacks. Oh, whenever it attacks, draw a card. Doesn't have to deal combat damage. That's very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Teferi, come on. Yeah, the two things I wanted to open up were Teferi and Eugene. So we got one of them already, and we have 17 more boxes to go. All right. Third pack. Let's go. We got a foil maze mine tome. What is this? Tap it to put a page counter on maze mine strum and scry one. And for two and tap, put a page counter on maze mine tome. Draw a card. Remember, there are four more page counters in maze mine tome. Exile it. If you do, you gain four. What? Why can't it just be. You just can tap it for two and, and draw a card. I feel that wouldn't be too bad. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Bane Slayer Angel. Man, that gives me so much flashbacks to when I first started playing Magic. This was an absolute powerhouse. Whew. Flying First Strike, Lifelink Protection from Demons and from Dragons. My word. Uh, Falconer Adept. 
male thick scythe siege striker wall of runes turret ogre gnarled sage hey there's a, a sage for your uh, tree folk commander decks any of you out there wanting to do tree folk Basri's acolyte hey that's a that's a card that can go into Rin Seri. sick uh, sanguine indulgence spell costs three less to cast if you've gained three more left this turn return up to two target creature cards from your river to your hand that's not bad for one black potentially getting two creatures back to your hand that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, Groot's Gorehorn. Man, I'm I glad to see Groot back. He's dropped black. He's a happy man. Uh, Voldalian Arcanist. This time we saw that was Dominaria. Secure the scene. And turn to Slag. Some good removal right there. This is one person's pre-release kit. That is disgusting. I would not want to play against this guy. Let's see. So many sleeves, or so many wrappers. I'm getting up my word. Okay. Night token. Whoa! Check that out. That is one of Teferi's islands. His his special bordered islands. That is so pretty. Holy cow! Maybe I need to pick up some of these for my decks. That is gorgeous. We got a Stormwing entity for our rare. Three blue blue. Elemental, this spell will cost two and a blue less to cast if you cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn. Okay, so potentially one and a blue. It's got flying and prowess, and when it enters the battlefield, scry two. What? That's stupid good. Brainstorm or, or opt, and you can cast this for two? Turn two? Oh no, I guess it would have to be turn three, huh? You need three mana. Wow. That's nice. That's a good limited card. Obsessive Stitcher. Oh, we got our first Liliana. I'm sorry, Chandra alternate art. Chandra's Pyroling. Dude, I, I, I gotta say, I think the Chandra alternate arts are my favorite. The way that the fire comes from down the card, making it look like it's on fire. It's, it's super pretty. Got another Volcanic Geyser. Truffle Snout. It's a pretty, pretty cute card. Radiant Fountain. Spellgorger Weird. Caged Zombie. Sky Scanner, Walking Corpse, Ranger's Guile, Tome Anima, Concordia Pegasus, and a Crash Through. Okay, last pack for this pre-release kit. Man, I hope you guys have this much luck in your pre-release kits. My word. Okay, well before we open this pack, let's go ahead and just look at Eugene again. Oh my word. Oh my word. I need it. I need it. Alright, let's keep going. You watch me struggle opening packs. I've always had this problem. It's the best feeling to open up a pack. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a Chandra Mountain, too. Very nice. A Temple of Triumph. Oh, they have the Scrylands in this set. I forgot about that. A Skyway Sniper. Pestilent Haze. All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn, or remove two lower to counters from each Planeswalker. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Faith's Fetters. Still love Faith's Fetters. Hunter's Edge. Dub. Mistral Singer. Shock. A drowsing Tyranodon. It's a good looking dino. Maybe it slots into some dino decks. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's got Defender. Never mind then. Alchemist Gift. What is the Alchemist Gifting? What kind of gift is that? She's like giving you some 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 green jello. She's created jello. She's a cook. She's a very good cook. Thrill of Possibilities, Capture Sphere, Celestial Enforcer, and a Turn to Slag. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, well that is our first kit today. Oh, that goes into our rare slot. 
Oh my gosh, what the heck? There we go. I'll go ahead and collect these up. Move on to our second pre-release kit. You know, honestly, this... It's going to be hard for another pre-release kit to beat that one. That was just absolutely stunning. Pre-release kit number two. I swear, if we get that alternate art to fairy, I'm going to lose my freaking mind. Here we go. Alright, the promo. Make your guesses now. I'm going to guess a... I'm going to guess it's a temple. That's my guess. And our promo is... Speaker of the Heavens. For one and a white, a 1-1 one, one with Vigilance and Life Link. Oh, this is this is the one that can create a 4-4 four, four angel. If you gain seven or more life. Or, or, I'm sorry, if you have seven or more life than your starting life total. That's a really good card in Limited. And a very good card in any deck that's gaining life. Alright, pack number one. Somehow I feel like this 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 pre-release kit is not going to be as good as the last one. Goblin Wizard. Blossoming Sands into a Volcanic Salvo. What the heck? Ten generic and two red. For a sorcery, this spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total power of creatures you control. And it deals six damage to each of up to two target creatures under Planeswalkers. Eh. I mean, that's a good card in Limited, but eh. Invigorating Surge. Wildwood Scourge. Hey, it's a Hydra to put into... Uh, my Zexara deck. Oh, it, can't, it cares about non hydro creatures. Never mind. Enthralling Hold. So it's a control magic, but you can only use it on a untapped, or you have to use it on a untapped creature. Cage Zombie. Spell Gorger Weird. Okay, I know we've seen this recently as well. Is that in Guilds? I think that's in Guilds. Wishcoin Crab. The Wisconsin Crab. Life goes on. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Gale Swooper. E. It's Griffin. One day, one day I will make a Griffin Tribal deck, but today is not that day. Gale Swooper. Uh, Sky Scanner. Citizen Training. Village Rights. Man, that's an eerie card. That reminds me of The Village by M. Night Shyamalan. Village Rights. A cancel, ah, and a very pretty cancel. I love the art on this cancel. And to secure the scene. Oh, what? That's a, that's a common? A common sorcery for four and a, a white. Exile target non-land permanent. Its controller creates a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. Oh my gosh. If you guys are drafting or doing limited, you should look out for these. That is some hot dang removal. Pack numero dos. All right, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Teferi, come on. Sapperling Forest. A foil. Drowsing Tyranodon. Basri Cat. That is a nice, nice mythic rare. That is a one white white for a loyalty or a three loyalty planeswalker plus one. Put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature. Gains indestructible until end of turn. Uh, when uh, minus two, whenever a non-token creature you control attacks this turn, create that many one one white soldier creature tokens that are tapped and attacking. Minus six, you get an emblem with at the beginning of combat on your turn. Create a one one white soldier creature token. Then put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. It's really good in the decks that want it, especially token making and, and aggro decks. I mean, in Winota. This is a, a very good card. Okay, let me uh, order this out better so I have space to fit this new Gideon. Very sad. Very sad. Let's take a moment of silence for Gideon. All right, let's move on. Alpine Handmaster. That, that's actually me, guys. I search out the Alpine uh, Watchdog, and I hope we open an Alpine Watchdog because that is my favorite card from the set. Okay, let's go to the third. Our second sanctum, Sanctum of Calm Waters. Goreman, that's a 5-5 five, five for 6. It's additional ca cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature. It's got flying and trample. Enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Ooh, that is a that is a scary card, my word. Uh, short Sword, Cage Zombie, Spell Gorger Weird. 
Wish Coin Crab, Life Goes On, Death Bloom Thalid, Drowsing Tyranodon, Goblin Wizardry, and a Spined Megalodon. I've been seeing a lot of reprints from Dominaria. And it's just giving me flashbacks, man. Just giving me flashbacks to how great drafting Dominaria was. And how great Teferi is. Alright, next pack. I butchered this pack. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Alright. Demon token. What makes a demon token? Okay, I'll have to watch for that too. A Windscar Crag. Temple of Mystère. Let's see what's the door rares. Griffin Airy. A Griffin Airy. It's me. I'm a Griffin Airy. Meteorite. Watcher of Spheres. One of the blue flying creature spells with flying cost one less to cast. Hey, this might slide into that, that flying standard deck that almost is kind of good. It, it might happen. Gnarled Sage. Basri's Acolyte. Anointed Chorister. Return to Nature. Ranger's Guile. Alchemist Gift. Some more Jello. Tome Anima. You know, this, this art is reminding me of some, some movie. I'm trying to think of what it is. Is it Treasure Planet? Okay, it's kind of giving me Treasure Planet vibes. You know that, that scene where they're, they're open up the, uh, the, the capsule thing and it shows them like the universe? Kind of, kind of like that. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Concordia Pegasus. Crash Through. And a Frantic inven Inventory. Inventory or Inventory? Probably Inventory. Draw a card, then draw cards equal to the number of cards named frantic inventory cards in your graveyard. Hey, that's an instant for one and a blue. That that that's very good in those uh controly uh late game decks in standard uh, or sealed in draft. Okay, this this is a little bit better. Nope, it's not. I lied. I oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, hold on guys. There we go. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Hey, it's me! It's a 2-2 flying griffin. Heck yeah. Alright. It's a good griffin. Thornwood Falls, I love fixing. Liliana Standard Bearer for the rare. You know, this is actually, I think, is going to be a sorely misunderrated card. Misunderrated? That's not even a word. Come on, griffin. I need a nap. I'm like, a cup of orange juice. But yeah, that Liliana Standard Bearer can actually draw you a lot of cards in the decks that you want it. Say you're playing a, a Marin deck and you can bring this back to your hand and cast it or bring it back to the battlefield on the same turn that you're sacrificing everything and drawing tons of cards. Yeah, if you got a Marin deck, this is a nice slot for there. Uh, Arc Fiend's Vessel. Oh, this is what creates the 5-5 Demon. Let's read that. When it enters the battlefield, if it entered from your graveyard or you cast it from your graveyard, exile it if you do create a 5-5 Black Demon creature token with flying. It's interesting. I wonder if there's ways of doing that in this set. Waker of Waves. Hey, it's another whale for the whale tribal deck. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Carrion Grub. That's a, that's a pretty darn good card, actually. Gets plus X plus zero, where X is the greatest power among creature cards in your graveyard. For three in a, uh, three in a black, and also mills when it enters the battlefield. And I love that they put Mill on a card now. It's officially the text to say to put cards into your graveyard from your library. That's what we've all been calling it. So, you know, Wizards just has caught up with everybody else. Rookie Mistake. Did all the mistakes I make, man. Finishing Blow. Short Sword. I'll have to give this to Landon for his Sword Tribal deck. Uh, Cage Zombie. Spellgorger Weird. A Drowsing Tyranodon. Alchemist Gift. Cancel and Igneous Cur. I don't know why I have not seen the Alpine Watchdog yet. That is literally my favorite card in this entire set. And, or I guess I have multiple favorite cards. I have a double standard. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, Liliana. You know what that means. We're opening up a Lily. You know, I always have so much fun with core sets. Even though they, they you know, things are pretty basic. That is a cool looking cat token that's so dark wow even though this set doesn't have uh oh my gosh that is such a pretty swamp 
That's the Liliana style swamp. That means we're getting Lily, right? Come on, baby. Primal Might. That's a disappointment. But okay, we'll take it. Target creature you control gets plus X plus X until end of turn. Then it fights up to one target creature you don't control for green X. Alright, alright, alright. Alpine Houndmaster. There's me again. Canopy Stalker. Even Gaggle Master. Even Gaggle Master? What the, what, what the heck is a Gaggle Master? Where do you get a degree in gaggling? Is that a word? Is that actually a word? There's always those weird things. Those weird words that you don't think are words actually are words. Alright, well, I, I'm going to look that up. Mask Blackguard. Fuhrer, Fuhrer of the Bitten. Frost Breath. Fantastic card. Warded Battlements. Forgotten Sentinel. Citizen Training. A Crypt Lurker. A Keen Glide Master. A Staunch Guildmate. And a Bone Pit Brute. Alright, we've got one more one more pack for this pre-release kit. And, and yeah, like I said, this is not looking as good as the, the last kit that we opened up. But I don't know, maybe this, maybe this pack will change it. I think in order for this pack to be better than the last kit, we need to open up... Probably another white mythic rare, but I don't know what the white mythics rares are, so. A pirate. Oh yeah, the pirates that the, the, the whale makes, that's fun. Mask Blackguard, it's a foil. Chandra's Incinerator. Ooh. This spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total amount of non-combat damage dealt to your opponents this turn. Okay, so you cast a shock and it costs two less. Trample whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent. Chandra's Incinerator deals that much damage to target creature or planeswalker that player controls, and it's a 6-6. Six, six. That's really hot. That is... I bet this is going to make it into to the mono-red uh, burn deck. That is really cool. Uh, miscast, counter-target instant or sorcery spell on six controller pays 3. That's that's nice. Oh, Soul Seer. Fierce Empath. Oh, we got a Reaper of Fierce Empath. That, that is a nice uncommon there. Tutor anything six or greater. Creature is six or greater from your deck. That's nice. Mistral Singer. I swear, I need I need there to be an Alpine Watchdog in this pack. We have two Houndmasters and no Watchdogs. <laughs> no Watchdogs. That is so disappointing. Read the Tides and a Valorous Steed. Very nice. Alright. Pre-release kit number three. Teferi's on it. That means Teferi's in there, right? Let's go. Oh, there's an opening here. Ah, why do I make life difficult for myself? <laughs> Living like Larry. Nope. All right, then. Make your guesses on our pre-release promo. I'm still guessing one of the lands. That is always what I get is one of the, the rare lands. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Demonic Embrace. One block black for a enchantment. Enchant creature gets plus three, plus one, and has flying, and is a demon in addition to its other types. Ooh. You may cast Demonic Embrace from your graveyard by paying three life and discarding a card in addition to paying its other cost. Oh my gosh, this is a limited bomb. Oh my word. I don't look forward to losing to this card in my pre-release. Oof. Definitely look out for that card for your pre-release. Alright, pack numero uno. I, I, I have a good feeling. This this kit is going to be... This, this this kit is going to be hot. This kit is going to be hot. We're going to get some, some alternate arts in this one. Maybe not a Eugene. But, but we're going to get some. A griffin. Oh, hey, there's me again. A jungle hollow and a rare is containment priest. That's a cool reprint, but I don't think that's going to be good in your limited pool. But maybe in your commander deck if you're doing control and you need one of these. Kind of sad. All right. Vryn Wingmare. Another Pegasus. A twin blade assassins. That's pretty cool. It's got pseudo morbid on it. 
It's kind of like that uh, enchantment. Um... Oh, it's gonna it's gonna hit me. It's got morbid. Nope, I can't think of it. It'll come to me like in five minutes. A riddle form. A shock. Okay, maybe this is gonna be the pre-release pack where we get an alpine watchdog. Saber tooth mauler. Anointed chorister. Walking corpse. Ranger's guile. Thrill of possibilities. A capture sphere. A celestial enforcer. And a turn to slag. No alpine watchdog. No alpine watchdog. <sighs> now I'm depressed. All right, let's keep going. Oh, look at that. That, that is why I don't try hard at life. This is what happens. Oh my gosh. You gotta be getting, oh, okay, there we go. All right, we saved it. We saved it. We're fine. We're fine. A goblin wizard with prowess. Heck yeah. Dismal Blackwater into Transmorgify. Okay, so this is this is Chaos Warp, but just for a creature. Probably would rather just be playing Chaos Warp, but hey, it's uh, it's not bad if you're playing Limited and you need to get rid of the, their best creature and you know that they don't have anything better. Uh, bad deal. You draw two cards and each opponent discards two cards. Each player loses two life. Wow. Okay, it's six mana, but that that's 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 really good if you're gonna build a tiny. Uh, bones deck from Jumpstart. This might be a this might be an include in there. Uh, Volcanic Geyser. Reign of Revelation. Finishing Blow. Okay, another short sword for Landon. Uh, Cage Zombie. Spell Gorger Weird. Wis Wisconsin Crab. Cocky S O B. That's that is the name of this card. Is Cocky S O B. Blood Gutten. Burn Bright. A frantic inventory. Inventory? I can't remember what I decided last time. Inventory. Let's go with inventory. I probably will ask next time. Feet of resistance. No alpine watchdog. Man, maybe we, we just rode that high of the first pack with that alternate art Eugene. And, and now we're just now we're just dragging along the floor here. Why do these open easier from the bottom? Tell me, wizards. Why did you do this? Why did you do this? These, these cool cat tokens. I'm going to show Landon this cat token. Isn't that a cool cat token? That is way cool. It's a, it's a Bagheera. No, no, no. Is that his name from Jungle Book? Bagheera? It might be. It's not sure. Khan, that's a tiger. All right. Oh, I just revealed our rare. Rewind. Another Transmorgify in the same pre-release kit. Holy cow. Feels bad, man. That feels bad. Well, I don't know. It's removal. It's removal. Maybe maybe I'm being too harsh. It's removal. Furious Rise. The beginning of your end step. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until you exile another card with Furious Rise. That's not bad in those uh, in those mono-red decks. You got that impulsive draw. Uh, selfless Safe. That is a good boy. That is the goodest boy. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that just makes me happy. What a good boy. And a Liliana's devotee. Here we're going to put the selfless savior on the very top. So we can look at it for a little bit longer. Uh, Chandra's magma. Here's another good boy. That's Chandra's good boy. Uh, Hunter's edge. Dub. <gasps> Guys, I think we saw it. I think we saw it. Okay. Okay, I got a Death Boom palette. Okay, you guys ready? <gasps> An Alpine Watchdog. Oh my gosh. This is the true goodest boy. You will never be happier than playing this card, ever. You will need to play this in every single deck that you're ever going to play that has white. Even if it doesn't have white, you break the rules of Commander just so you can play this good boy. Because you will never be upset again. <sighs> nice. Hobble Fiend. Read the Tides. They're not even on the ocean. They're standing in a room. How are you going to read the Tides from your room, man? Come on. Defiant Strike. I'm obviously very tired. Okay, well, let's keep going. Peter's judging me hardcore right now. How are we looking? 40 minutes, and I'm only on number three. We might not be able to get through all of these, or maybe I'll have to do the last, the next ones very fast. Uh, Sapperling, Swamp, Scavenging News, obviously a great reprint. 
Canopy Stalker, a bad deal. Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest. Okay, so we've got three of the shrines. Uh, Cage Zombie. Oh, no. Spell Gorge are weird. The Wisconsin Crab. Life goes on and on and on. Gale Swooper. The best card in magic in the history of ever. Gloom Sower. Crash Through. Frantic Inventory. And a makeshift batali battalion. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, we're going to try to be here for as long as possible. This is going to be a seriously long video. Alright, we got a beast token. Whenever you beast within your opponent's stuff. Scarred Barons. <laughs> oh, this Chandra is so pretty. I got to say, the, the, the last Chandra that I actually liked, the art, was from uh, Kaladesh, Chandra Torch of Defiance. But this one is also up there. It's a shame that it's not the the alternate art Chandra style. That one is super sick. I hope we open one today, but... God, love Chandra. Heck yeah. Uh, Meteorite. Leafkin Avenger. A Havoc Gesture. Goblin Arsonist. I always thought this guy was so funny. He's wearing a pyramid on his head. What, what a joke. Browsing Reed. A Radiant Fountain. Run a foul. Looks like an Ixalan reprint. Pitchburn Devils. Legion's Judgment. Crypt Lurker. Titanic Growth. Read the Tides. And a Valorous Steed. I think we got one more. You know, this is actually a, a pretty good, a pretty good one. I mean, we've got two Transmorgifies and a Chandra Heart of Fire. That means you're gonna be playing red. So. Maybe red black because you got the demonic embrace. Alright, last pack. Last pack of goodies. Ooh, see, they're so they're so pretty. I gotta say, these these are these are some hot lands. These are some hot lands. Our foil is a frantic invention. Nine lives. Nine lives. <gasps> what a joke. I swear. This is a terrible enchantment. Don't play this. Just don't play this. You, it's got hexproof, but you got you've got one board wipe and you lose. Well, board wipe for enchantments specifically. Get this out of here. All right, let's. There we go. Obsessive stitch. Ooh, Chandra's pyrolink. See, we wanted that border for the Chandra, but at least we got the Chandra's pyrolink. So this is is a flavor pack. This is obviously a flavor pack. Siege Striker. A Llanowar Visionary. The combination of Llanowar Elves and Elvish Visionary. Mask Blackguard. Fuhrer of the Bitten. Frost Breath. Warded Battlements. Alchemist Gift. A Snare Spinner for your Spider Tribal decks. That might actually be a, a thing. I mean, you've got some pretty amazing spiders that have come out recently. I mean, you've got a Rasta. That's really good. And you, you just got it, uh, it, uh, icky, icky, bitty spider that... Whatever, you guys know what I mean. Uh, sure Strike, Library Larcenist. N this is not a bad pack at all. I mean, the genre probably makes up for it with this Demonic Embrace. Let's go. Pre-release pack number four of 18. Let's go. Where's that opening? Okay, the last one I have an opening. This one does not. Oh, ha! Huh. We create the opening. And then strike. Alright, let's smell the box. Mmm, smells good. Alright. Alright, let's guess our pre-release promo for this one. Um, I am going to guess it's going to be a Liliana's Standard Bearer. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Make your guesses. Double vision. Ooh, hot card for three red red. We've got an enchantment. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcerer spell each turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. That is going to be very good in Calamax decks. Very good in any deck that wants to copy instant and sorcerer spells. All right, pack number one. 
I dedicate this pack to Peter. I don't know why. Demonic Embrace. Okay, so this guy's pre-release pack is also pretty hot. Nobody's actually playing these cards. I'm just pretending that I am I am a new person every single time opening up a pre-release pack. Maybe I should do a new accent as well. What what do you think this accent should be? Uh, no, I'm not going to be offensive. Okay. Traitorous Greed. A Tavern Swindler. Watcher of the Spheres. Gale Swooper. Another Griffin for me. Uh, Sky Scanner, Goblin Arsonist, Rousing Reed, Radiant Fountain, Gloom Sower, a our, our first, what was that noise? Our first Garuk alternate art. It This is very interesting. It's literally got nothing in the text box. That is not something I have seen very often. But it's very pretty. Staunch Shieldmate, a Bone Pit Brute and a Tomb Anima. A diggity dog. Pack number two. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jungle Hollow into Subaru. Tesla Dodge Caravan. It is good to see you in this pack. Heck yeah. This is a this is gonna be a fun commander to build around. If you're looking to build a mono red commander that has card draw, this is a excellent choice. Rewind. A battle rage shaman or battle rattle shaman. That is a fun uh, battle rattle. You wanna do some battle rattling? I wanna do some battle rattling. Alright. Tolarian Kraken. Wisconsin Crab. Good to see you again. Life Goes On, Gale Swooper, a Sky Scanner, Goblin Arsonist, a Cocky SOB, a Blood Gutten, Rambunctious Mutt. Such, that is my dog. He is absolutely rambunctious. Uh, Burn Bright and a Frantic Inventory. Nothing out of this world yet. Well, actually, I don't know. That Demonic Embrace might be just a powerhouse in Limited. But we're specifically looking for commander staples, like Azusa, Lost but Seeking, and then Teferi. Well, I've got to open up a Teferi tonight. That That is, that is my mission. Temple of Silence. A Witch's Cauldron. One black for an artifact, for one to black tap it, sacrifice a creature, gain one life, and draw one card. Not bad, not bad at all. Waker of Waves. A Carrion Grub. Goblin Arsonist. Have we got a Goblin Arsonist in every single pack so far? That's awesome. Rousing Greed. A Radiant Fountain. Run Afoul. Pitch Burn Devils. Legion's Judgment. Always good to see removal. A Titanic Growth. Walking Corpse. Thrill of Possibility. And a Capture Sphere. You know, I just, I really love corsets because they're very simple. There's nothing in here that's super complicated. There's no plays that are super complicated. You just have a lot of fun playing cards um, that everybody can, can make sense of. So definitely bring out your friends that haven't played Magic very often or haven't played Magic at all for a, a pre-release for Corset 21. Pack number... Are we on three? We're on three. Soldier. Dismal Blackwater. See the truth. That's some pretty lackluster rares. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Oh, but we got a selfish savior in this in in this pre-release pack, so uh, we're set for life. And that is a that is a cool looking druid. Shout out to Ton, Todd Lockwood for this very pretty druid. Show Peter, very pretty. Scorching Dragon Fire, Mind Rot, very popular in the core sets. A rookie mistake, that is going to be most people at the pre-release. A Daybreak Charger. A unicorn. We've got unicorn and Pegasus. Pegasi? Pegasi. Pegasu? I don't know. You tell me. Goblin arsonist. We have got a goblin arsonist in every single pack. It's a conspiracy. My word. Spare snare spinner. Now I'm confuzzled. Death Bloom Fallad. Makeshift Battalion. A short strike. And a library larcenist. Okay, I swear. If the next pack has a goblin arsonist. The universe is trying to tell me something, and I have to figure out what it is. Oh, we got two packs left. Oh, 
Alrighty then, pack number five. Now I'm really excited. Maybe we will get a Goblin Arsonist in every pack. Ooh! We have our first, I think first in this pack at least, uh, Garug Forest. These, yeah, I feel like these lands are going to be extremely popular. I, I like that there's that yellow border around the forest too, so it kind of pops out at you. Angelic Ascension for one and a white. We have an instant Exaltar creature, Planeswalker. Its controller creates a 4 4 white flying angel creature token with flying. Honestly, I'd probably rather use this on my creatures if I'm playing limited, because, you know, turn one, you play a one, uh, one mana creature. And then turn two, you exile it for a 4 4 flying angel. Not bad. Solemn Simulacrum. Now, there are cards that we want to see more of for Commander. Why did I put the foil over here? What am I doing? Such a good card. I, I, I He doesn't seem too sad. He looks he looks like in contemplation. He's a thoughtful. He is the thoughtful Simulacrum. So maybe we need to put some sadder on this. Ooh. Tempered Veteran. Garuk's Uprising. It's the Gaggle Master. The Gaggle Master with his PhD in gaggling from Gaggle University. Gaggleton Gagglemania. Chandra's Magmut, Misro Singer, Dub, Sabretooth Mauler, Liliana Steward, Colossal Dreadmaw. You know, they need to make Colossal Dreadmaw a legendary creature, and I will build the heck out of this card. Rambunctious Mutt, Burn Bright, and a Keen Glide Master. So I believe we did not get a Goblin Arsonist in that pack, so I think we're set. I, I think. The universe is happy with me. Things are good. Last pack. You know, this kind of seems like a previous pack that I would get. I, I have a running theme of never getting Mythic Rares in my pre-release packs. But remember, it's not about the Mythic Rares that you get. It's about the removal and the playables that you get. All right, a Knight. Swiftwater Cliffs. A foil Gadrak, the Crown Scourge. Okay, that that is that is hot. That is very hot. Look at that. Whoo! Very beautiful. Very beautiful. And a hooded blight flying for a rare. Death Touch Tribal? Is it a thing yet? Maybe Hapatra? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. Chandra's Pyreling. Bosri's Solidarity. I would want that to be an instant. I'm not gonna lie. If I'm gonna put plus one plus one counters on each creature for two, I want it to be an instant. Uh, Bolt Hound. That's the first time we've seen the Bolt Hound. The um, what kind of dog would this be? I think this would probably be the 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 very thin running dogs with the extremely long legs, and I can't think of the name right now. Turret Ogre. <laughs> I don't know why I just like that name. Uh, swift response man that that is that is a kick wall of runes ornery dilophos dilophosaur or ornery dilophosaur walking corpse lofty denial celestial enforcer a nake ogre and a capture sphere you know what this this pack is also pretty good I mean, we've got a foil double vision and a foil Gadric, the crown scourge. Those are some really good bombs that you can play with. Let us know what you guys open in your pre-release packs. If you are following us on Twitter or Facebook, then send us a tweet or, or tag us of what you open in your pre-release packs. I would love to see what you guys open and, and what you guys build. Number five. All right, I, I, let's see. Okay, it's slightly heavier. It's slightly heavier. You know what that means? That means there's Mystic Rares in here. I know that because I saw it on the inter internet. There are more foils in this. It's so heavy, it feels like a Teferi. And it's heavy because of that heavy feeling that your opponents get when they see you cast a Teferi. Alright, let's see what our pre-release promo is for today. 
I am going to guess mm, a foil. This is the last time I got a foil double vision. I think this is going to be a foil mythic rare. I think it's going to be a blue foil mythic rare, but it's not going to be. Okay, it's a foil. What is that card? The one that's for six that you can choose multiple modes. Sublime Epiphany? Sublime Epiphany. I'm probably way off. I was way off, but we got a pack leader. Oh my word. That that is that is not Momo. Momo does not like other dogs. He would be a it, he's he's weird. He's a he's a King Charles Cavalier, but he hurts people. He loves running around them. Okay, well that is a, a sign that we have an amazing uh, amazing pre release pack, so let let's let's begin. I don't know how I feel about the rares being at the front. I kind of like that the rares are at the back, but whatever. It makes it easier for you guys. A Temple of Mystere. And an Alpine Houndmaster. Okay, okay, okay. Canopy Stalker. Reign of Revelation. The Wisconsin Crab. Life Goes On. A Gale Swooper. Sky Scanner. A Goblin Arsonist. It's, it's starting again. Village Rights. Track Down. An Alpine Watchdog. Okay, we got a Houndmaster and an Alpine Watchdog in the same pack. That is a very good sign. That is a sign that the next pack is going to be hot. So, let's see how our luck is. We've got like a Dog Tribal deck in this pre-release pack. That That is what I want to see. That is exactly what I want to see. I want a Dog Tribal deck for my pre-release. That's what I want. That would what would make me happy. Okay, let's do this. I said this would be a hot pack. And we start off with a foil roaming ghost light. Uh, it bounces a creature. That's not bad. Glorious anthem. Okay, we've got a legitimate uh, Boros dog deck here. Also pretty good in commander. An enchantment that buffs all your creatures. A Jeskai elder. Very good with prowess. What am I doing? A bull, burl fist oak. A male fixed scythe. Life goes on. Gale swooper. Sky. <gasps> the goblin arsonist. You know, this pack is very similar to the last pack we got. Titanic growth. The death bloom. Thalid. A valor steed. And a thrill of possibilities. All right. Let's uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going with that pack. I said it would be good. And, and maybe I was feeling this pack. Maybe I was feeling this pack. I might have been wrong. I'm usually wrong. 90% of the time. Yeah, maybe 92. But solid 92. I'll be generous to myself. Alright, let's go. A ghostly pillifer. You know, my luck is really not uh, working for me right now. A sanctum of the stone fangs. Okay, so all we need now is the blue one. Shipwreck dowser. A havoc gesture. Rousing reed. Radiant fountain. Run afoul. Pitch burn devils. Legion Lieutenant, Portcullis Vine, their Liliana Steward with the, the alternate border. Very pretty. A Celestial Enforcer, an Anoka, Anake Orger. Uh, I can't even speak. An Anake Orger and a Capture Sphere. Okay, so we didn't get out a Goblin Arsonist in, in that deck. I feel like the Goblin Arsonist in every single pack in your pre release pack is like impending doom. That either means you're going to go uh, all wins or all loss. In your pre-release. So watch out for that. The universe is not kind to those with six goblin arsonists in their pool. Get out of here. Alright. 1-1 one, one token. Chandra's incinerator with the foil. Or uh, it's not foil. I wish it was foil. But it's the alternate art version of it. So that's that. That's very pretty. Very good looking card. Indulging Patrician. Sanctum of Scattered Heights, a Watcher of Spheres, Forgotten Sentinel, Scorch, Scorching Dragonfire, Mind Rot, Rookie Mistake, Daybreak Charger, Liliana Steward, Colossal Dreadmaw, I love to see him, Bone Pit Brute, Vidalian Arcanist, and the Good Boy. Bless you, Peter. Alright, well, we got two Alpine Watchdogs, so we definitely have a Dog Tribal deck. 
So let's see how many more dogs we can get. I, there's not a ton of dogs in this uh, in this format, which is it was kind of the shame. If you're gonna make a dog tribe, if you're gonna officially start the tribe off changing the the um, text on hounds to be dogs, then at least make the set a good tribe or a good support for the tribe. But mm, we didn't get a lot of good things. We did get rid of Siri, but we can't open them in this pre-release pack. Ooh, Necromentia, one black black, choose a card name other than a basic land card name. Search target opponent's graveyard hand or library for any number of cards that with that name and exile them. That player shuffles their library, then creates a 2-2 black zombie token for each card exiled from their hand this way. Holy control. Oh, this is slotting so well into my Esper deck. So well. Oh. Ooh. I'm getting I'm getting shivers. I just need a I just need to tell somebody no. I just hey, we got the blue sanctum. That means we have opened up all of the sanctums. So Peter will be happy. But we haven't had this the sanctum of all yet, so not yet. Not having it. Mistral Mistral Singer, uh, Shock, Sabretooth Mauler, Infernal Scarring, Fetid Imp, very good card in limited. Citizen Champion, a Spined Megalodon. I feel like Spined Megalodon. You've got to, if you're gonna cast it, you've got to, you've got to say it like an announcer of some sort. Like, let's say, tap on my mana. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting for the first time in this set, Spined Megalodon. Yep, yep, yep. That sounds good. I uh, got a Concordia Pegasus, Pone, Pone Bit Brute. Whatever. And uh, Vodalkin Arcanist. Alright, last pack. Still no Mythic Graves in this pack either. Or in this kit, I should say. These are packs. This is a kit. I'm just making a, a mess. That's what I'm doing. Oh, let's add uh, OCD here. Ah, oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Angel. Blossoming Sands, a Foil Volcanic Salvo. I've already said how I feel about this card. It's not very good. And then a Massacre Worm. Ooh, that is such a good limited card. I think it's even good in Commander, too, because it's, it's essentially a win con on a card if you could play it off right. Say your opponent is playing like a token deck, uh, like an Amara, a uh, Solar of the Accord, or maybe even a Tristani. If I got a bunch of 1 1s, and you play a Massacre Worm, if you kill 20 creatures. If you can even kill 15, that, that opponent is going to lose 30 life. It's a very good card. Very good card. Uh, Light of Promise. Teferi's Tutelage. The Mill Plan. We got it. The Mill Plan. Uh, Carrion Grub. Skeleton Archer. Chandra's Magma. Another dog. Hunter's Edge. Dub. Why did I put the Hunter's Edge in the uncommons? What am I doing? Citizen Champion. Village Rights. Secure the scene. Oh, this is just so good. Uh, destructive tampering. That's actually some cool art. Shout out to Titus Lunter for this art on this card. We all know that Titus Lunter is very good at what he does. And then I read the tides. All right, that pack was, or that kit what what was good it was good. I mean, it, it's got dog tribal. We got plenty of dogs in there. I don't know if that's going to be enough to to really you know push through. Uh, for a win in your pre-release, but you've got a Massacre Worm, which is an absolute powerhouse. And then an Alpine Watchdog. And a Pack Leader. So how can you be upset about that? Into the void. That wasn't me. Alright, let's keep going. For the record, that was me. For the record, that was me. Alright. <laughs> let's keep going. All right, make your guesses on our pre-release promo here. We gotta wait it. We gotta see how 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 heavy it is. If it's a mythic rare, it weighs more. That's, that's science. That's fact. It's been proven. There was one one mythic rare in there. All right, I am gonna guess it is gonna be. A freaking temple. Ooh, a chromatic orrery. 
you guys already know how I feel, or what you might. You might not know how I felt about this card, but if you want to know how I felt about this card, go ahead and check out our set review where we talk about how much we think this card is playable or is not playable. So go check it out. Very good card, though. All right, pack number one. We've already got our first Mythic Rare in our pre-release promo. I don't know if that's necessarily playable and limited, though. Sorry. Chandra's Magmut Foil, and a Fabled Passage. Hey, you got Mana Fixing. Uh, Grook's Uprising. Thrashing Brontodon, good to see that back. A Tide Skimmer, very good card with your Flying. If you are ever playing a draft, just know, Flying is always a good route to go. Turret Ogre, Swift Response. Wall of Runes, Hunter's Edge. Death Boom Fallad, a Drowsing Tyranodon, a Celestial Enforcer. He turned to slag and he lofty denial. Number two, let's go. For those of you who are counting, I have no idea how many pre release kits I have opened, so we're just going to do this until the end. Number six, thank you, Peter. Oh. It was a foil, and it's a full out foil. Oh, look at that. Solemn Simulacrum. Foil, alternate, full, or borderless. Ooh, let's show it, show it to Peter so Peter can appreciate it as well. Wow. Let's see what's under it. Let's see if this is a nuts pack. And a Temple of Epiphany. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad at all. Very good card and commander, and I'm always to see, or happy to see more of those. Uh, Temple of Epiphany. Uh, obsessive stitcher the good boy the best boy uh battle rattling anointed chorister roaming ghost light gnarled sage a basri's acolyte this is this kind of, this is a powerhouse in draft just remember this is a powerhouse in draft you will lose to this many times fitted imp ornery dinosaur crash through frantic in inventory and a makeshift battalion i don't know why i struggle so much with the word inventory 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 all right i'll stop pack number three i'm feeling good about these packs feeling good oh we got a pretty forest into a temple of triumph man i just rigged it i rigged it again i need to stop it all of our rares so far have been lands look at that this is not a fun pre-release kit. Well, actually, this might be a fun pre-release kit. You've got a lot of... I mean, you've got Mana Ramp, and you've got some fixing. So maybe this is not a bad uh, pre-release kit. We'll see what else we open. Uh, Alpine Handmaster, a Miscast, Angelic Ascension, Spell Gorger Weird, Cage Zombie, Sky Scanner, Rousing Reed, a Duress, Track Down, Blood Gutton, Staunch Shieldmate, Pone Bit Brute and a Tone Anima. What if we get all lands in our slot? Oops, all lands. We've got three packs left to go. Pack number four. Hey, 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 let's go. Whoa, that is a that is a dope looking token. Look at that weird token. That is so cool. Look at that. That's very cool. I love out of out of the ordinary art and tokens. Dismal black water into a speaker of the heavens. Okay, that's it. That's it. The very good limited card. Very good. Chandra's Pyreling. Bolt Hound. Quarian Dryad. Cage Zombie. Sky Scanner. Rousing Reed. Dress. Life Goes On, Titanic Growth, Walking Corpse, Revitalize, Thrill of Possibilities, and a good old Cancel. Number five. Let's do this. All right, token is a zombie token. Oh, I'm kind of sad I bent that one. Uh, mountain, a foil, blossoming sands, more fixing. 
into a sea of the truths. Sea of the truths. Come on, man. Come on. Sanctum of the Calm Waters. It's kind of disappointing that Sanctum of the Calm Waters causes you to discard a card. The old Sanctum, you would just draw cards. But it did cost one more mana. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Lore Scale... Co huh? Lore Scale... Coatl. Coatl? Coatl. 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 I don't know. I'm spending too much time on that. Life Goes On. A Gale Super. The Wisconsin Crab. Legion Judgment. Pitchburn Devils. Alchemist Gift. Some more jello. Uh, Portcullis Vine. I believe I saw this in Peter's um, Arcades deck. Very good. Very good. Thrill of Possibilities and a Capture Fear. All right. Last pack for this, this pre-release kit. Nothing extremely amazing so far. So let's see if this is the... The pack that does it. The pack that changes everything. I don't even know what colors I would do for this pre-release pack, honestly. Primal Might. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Well, you got a you've you've got a very good pre-release kit for for lands at the very least. You got that foil chromatic ori. Scorching Firelight. Forgot Sentinel. Rise again. Okay, so that's how you get that 5-5 five, five, uh, demon from that one mana thing. You gotta rise again it. That just seems bad. Portcullis Vine, Pone Bit Brute, Tone Anima, and a Concordia Pegasus. All right, I mean, the, the best thing we got in here is definitely this Chromatic Ori in Commander. That That is a Commander staple. Uh, well, not, not staple. It is a commander card. I don't know if I would play it in every single deck. We talk about in the, the set review about not counting it towards ramp. We don't think that you should count this as ramp. But if you're in a deck that can abuse artifacts or you're abusing the uh, five colors, then this this might be a, a good option for you. Into the Void. What was that? Nice. Uh, what time is it? 10.08. The store is officially closed. Let's keep going. You know, the most exciting thing, I, I think, is, is the, is the pre-release promo. But I've, I, I have never gotten a pre-release promo that I, I loved. Never have. Never have and probably never will. I will let you guys know what I get for my pre-release promo. Oh, I did get the Gigantha. That's right. And I'm actually, I, I'm using it for the uh, the Gigantha deck that I built. Okay. Okay. I was proven wrong once again. I told you, 92% of the time. All right. Let's look at our pre-release promo. My guess is Garuk. Peter? It's going to be a what? Token rare? Token rare? Bulk rare. Oh, bulk rare? Okay. I'm guessing it's a good rare. Peter's saying it's a token rare. Let's go. Drael Monvuli Recluse. Not bad. Not bad. I guess the color right at the very least. This is a this is this is a card that you can play in Commander. We actually talk about this in the set review. I don't know if we're gonna build a uh, Commander deck off of this, a deck tech for the channel. But if you are interested in getting a deck tech off of Drael Monvuli Recluse, then let us know. Pack number one. I'm exciting. I'm shaking in my boots. I just love those alternate arts. I want more of those. <laughs> Speaking of which, we got a Teferi's Ageless Insight with the the alternate border. Did it? Oh my gosh! That I I don't know why, but that triangle at the bottom that has that the the foil stamp on it. That is so cool. Wow. Love that. All right, let's keep going. Line of promise. Cultivate. You know, sometimes I'm right about things. So 8% of the time. Kinetic Augur. Oh, hey, Cultivate. Skeleton Archer. Chandra's Magmut. A Hunter's Edge. Dub. Colossal Dreadmaw. Sanguine Indulgence. Crash Through. Frantic Inventory. Makeshift. I did it. I did it. I didn't struggle. Makeshift Battalion and a Shore Strike. 
pack number two. Oh, yeah. My hands are shaking because this is so exciting for me. Come on, baby. A conspicuous Snoop slotting so fast into my Goblin Tribal deck. You have no idea. A uh, temp Tempered Veteran. Very good. Eliminate. I think it's a good removal. The Battle Rattling Shaman uh, Wall of Wall of Runes. Uh, Turret Ogre. A Gnarled Sage, bro. Basri's Acolyte. Fitted Imp. Ordinary Dilphus. Uh, Feet of Resistance. Goblin Wizardry. Oh, this is how you get the, the Goblin tokens. But I don't have those. But that we did see it. Oh! The Spined Megalodon. Cordy picks. I'm not going to do it as loud as last time. Because you, you guys probably had to turn down your volume. Or just shut off the video. I don't know. I don't judge. You do what you want to do. Oh. Liliana's on here. You know, honestly, we have opened up eight, eight pre-release kits. Seven pre... Seven pre-release kits? Seven pre-release kits. And we have only opened up two Planeswalkers. No, we opened up Eugene. What am I talking about? We've opened up three. So I guess that's a pretty good rate. And here's another Planeswalker. No, you got two Monvulis in the same pre-release kit. What is that? What is the chances of that? Pretty good. Invigorating Surge. You've got some hot green in this one. Holy cow. Waker of Waves. Return to Nature. We literally just saw that too. Uh, Roman Ghostlight. Dub. Blood Glutton. Citizen Training. Very pretty cancel. Secure the Scene, Destructive Tampering, and a Read the Tides. That is, that, that is interesting. Here, I'm going to hand these to Peter so he can feel it. Feel how thick the Read the Tides is. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a layer thicker. It's a layer thicker. Fascinating. I would try to show you guys, but I don't think it would show up. <laughs> Hulk want alternate arts. Rogue Highland. Gadrak the Crown Scourge. Second time we've seen Gadrak. Chrome Replicator. That's pretty good. A Invigorating Surge. That is two Invigorating Surges. Uh, that is very cool. Havoc Jester, a Forgotten Sentinel, Scorching Dragonfire, Mind Rot, Rookie Mistake, Daybreak Charger. That is the first time we've seen the Goblin Arsonist in like eight packs. It obviously got scared off because I like trashed on it so bad. Drowsing Tyranodon, Destructive Tempering, and a Vol Vol Voldalian Arcanist. Two more packs left. Uh, let's see. Uh, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Moski. I want a Teferi. Remember, I open it from the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. Teferi pack, come on. Ah, oh, glorious anthem. You know what? I'll take it. It's an it's an okay card. Sanctum of the Stone Fangs, Faith Fetters, just amazing, amazing removal. Leafkin, Avenger, Wall of Runes, Wall of Runes, Hunter's Edge, Teferi's Protege, Grasp of Dark. That's a common. Black, black, instant target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. Holy cow. That is a, that is freaky good and limited. Uh, Grook's Gorehorn. Oh, this is a, this is flavor text from Liliana Vess. Let's read it. It certainly takes after its master. Big and brutish, and you can smell it from a mile away. Savage Liliana. My word, never leave Grook alone. <laughs> Fetid Imp. Goblin Wizardry. Spine Megalodon, a Concordia Pegasus, and the Pwn Bit Brute. Last pack, here we go. Give it to me, baby. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh. This is going to be a good pack, I can tell. A Pursued Whale. You gave me a foil necromancer and do a Pursued Whale. Screw you, pre-release pack. 
I'm never gonna forgive you. Ah, oh, whatever. Disappointing. Uh, Griffin Airy, Eliminate, Dub, Sabretooth Mauler, Shock. Hey, you got a Garuk's Gorehorn and some alternate art, I guess. Um, Village Rides. Man, that Pursued Well just depressed me. Sure Strike, Library Larcenist. Okay, I'm happy now. We got an Iron Plan Watchdog. We got the Bernese Mountain Dog. I need to read the flavor text for this. I haven't done it yet. On the eighth day, a blizzard hit. Supplies were lost and morale plummeted. On the ninth day, Dover found us. That is so freaking cute. <sighs> oh, I'll never get over it. Okay, and a hobble fiend. That is not cute. That is going to be it for this pre-release pack. Seems like our green is very good. We also got some splashing for some red. And we had some, some hot diggity dog red. So maybe we do a... Gruel aggro. Uh, that's what I'm thinking for this uh, for this pack. Moving on to pack number eight or kit number eight. Heck yeah. Is it possible to open up a promo to fairy? That is the question. I assume it is. But what are the chances? What are the chances that we are going to open up what oh, open one up? All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, why not Teferi? I'm guessing Teferi for our promo. Peter, he's sitting this one out. That means it's going to be a dud. Uh, it's going to be a a, a dud. Grooks Harbringer. Uh, that, yep, yeah, that's, that's dud. That's dud. But that's not bad. That's honestly not bad. It's, it's pretty okay, I guess. It is not. It is not the alternate border one. I'm sorry, Peter. I, that is a good question. I don't think it's possible to get the alternate art foil promo pack. Or, or yeah, promos, but you never know. Maybe prove me wrong, pre-release packs. That would be cool. Promo, Cultivate, Temple of Milady, Chandra's Pyreling, Skyway Sniper, a Heart Fire Immolator, Llanowar Visionary, Mask Blackguard, Fuhrer of the Bitten, Frost Breath, Warded Battlements, Alchemist Gift of Jelly, Portcullis Vine, Rambunctious Mutt, Burn Bright, and a Frantic Inventory. Um, struggled that time. Okay. So when I think about it, that's when I struggle. That is actually the secret to most stuttering. If you suffer from stuttering, the trick is you just you just have to learn not to think about what you're trying to say. It's got to just come naturally to you. You can't focus on that you're going to stutter, otherwise you do stutter. Now that I've just said that, I'm going to start stuttering again. Uh, the 5-5 five five Demon Token, a Liliana Swamp, Sublime Epiphany. That is just, it's a good, a good card. A Grooks Uprising. That is it. That is, I, I like the green ones. I like the, the Garuk green uh, borders. Maybe not as much as I like the Chandra and Teferi's, but it's, it's pretty good. Uh, Burl Fist Oak. Hey, another tree folk. Male Thick Scythe. Okay, this is a pack with two alternate arts. A Teferi's Protege with the Teferi border. Very cool. A Grasp of Darkness. Oh my gosh. Whoever... This is it. This is, this is hot. Wall of Runes, Rise Again, Ranger's Guile, a Gloom Sower, Cancel, Voracious Steed, Ignatius Car, and a Lofty Denial that also has the thicker layering on it. That's, that's, that's kind of crazy. Pack number three. Hi. Hi. Huh. Zombie? Zombie token. Scar Barons into uh, Foil Swamp. Into uh, a Gadrak Crown Scourge. That's the third time we've seen Gaundrak, and zero times we've seen Teferi. Oh, I just dropped everything. I was so upset. Okay. Gadrak, uh, Ver Vryn Wingmare, a Palladium Mer, Liliana's Devotee. It's Ordinance, right? 
uh, Dub, Swift Response, Shock, Death Bloom Fallot, Drowsing Tyranodon, Feet of Resistance, Goblin Wizardry, Spine Megalodon, and a Concordia Pegasus. Hooya! Let's go! I keep opening it from the top! When will I learn? The answer is never. I will never learn. Ha! <gasps> I saw something. Ah! It's the Garouk with the alternate art Garouk version. Oh, look at the mana symbol on that. That is just flavor-tastic. Wow. Compliments to the chef. And the chef is Lai Sediwan. Sit it. Say to one. Lay say to one. Congratulations. You've made a very pretty card. All right. All right. All right. All right. That is the first alternate art uh, Planeswalker that we've gotten. So that is, a, that is a great feeling. That is a great feeling. Unleash Fury. Tavern Swindler. Oh, I'm putting this in the wrong pile again. I'm just totally blown out of my mind. Rookie Mistake. Finishing Blow. Another short sword for Landon. Kate Zombie. Spell Gorger Weird. Blood Glutton. Garouk's Gorehorn. We'll put that right there because it's Garouk. Uh, Frantic Inventory. A Feet of Resistance. And Goblin Wizardry. Let's go! Soldier token into a island into a chromatic ori. Okay, 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 okay. We got two mythic rares in this pack. We'll put uh, Grooks Gohan back over here. Uh, a ep ep epitaph golem, Teferi's tutelage, carrying cra ca carrying grub, the Wisconsin crab. Life goes on. Gale swooper, sky scanner, the arsonist, Ga uh, death bloom, Thalid, snare spin. Opt is in this. Uh, in this set. Heck yeah. Which means you can do that turn three thing uh, with uh, um, the 3-3 uh, three, three flyer. Revitalize and Thrill Possibilities. Is this already the last pack in this, uh, this kit? Ah, it's been, a, it's been a good kit. It's been a good kit, so. Let's see what we get. Me, the Griffin. To a rugged island, into a Joriel Monvuli Recluse. This is a hot pack for green. My word, yeah, you're definitely playing green if you're opening this pre release pack up. Holy cow. A uh, Rewind, Tide Skimmer, Thrashing Brontodon, Rookie Mistake, Short Sword, Cage Zombie, Spell Gorger Weird, The Wisconsin Crab, Track Down, Blood Gutton, Revitalize, Hobble Fiend, and Cancel. Okie dokie, Artichoke. That was, that was a good pack. Yeah, I'd be definitely playing green. We also had Gadrak and a Sublime Epiphany. So, I don't know. Maybe we want to play green-red. Maybe green-blue. Uh, but definitely playing the blue. Because we got a Garouk. And we got that one really. And we got the promo, which is the Garouk's Harbringer. So, flavorfully, that's what needs to happen. There you go. Reaching into the void. Pre-release pack number... Nine. This is going to be halfway through it. My word. Still haven't opened up to Fairy. That's okay. We opened up Eugene on the first pack, and that was the thing that I wanted to open. And it was the alternate art borderless version, so I, I suppose I can't complain. I can't complain. That is a mess around me right now. Okay. Pack number one. Wait a minute, I didn't even open up the the uh, uh, pre-release pack promo. So, what am I doing here? Alright, my guess is Teferi's Ageless Insight. Sure. A Shack Geist. Can only block the flying. Well, I mean, it's a 2-2 two -two flyer for two, I guess. Alright, well, I was super excited about this pack, so better be better than that pre-release promo. Uh, hooded blight fly. Oh man, we are we are not starting off on a good note here. We are not starting off on a good note. Uh, cultivate, Helikite Punisher, Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest, a Mistral Singer, a Shock, Infernal Scarring, a Sabertooth Mauler, Liliana Steward, Colossal Dreadmaw, 
opt, makeshift battalion, sure strike, and a tome anima. Oh, it's got death touch, I guess. It's not that bad. I needed to stop being so negative. I'm just also hungry. Uh, the Garouk token, which means that we're going to be opening up uh, not Garouk. Okay, we got a foil, and it's a foil. Karavek the Spiteful. The best competitive commander. And a pack leader. Okay, hot stuff, hot stuff. We've got two blacks, uh, two black rares, but uh, they are not too good, so it's a, it's a bummer. Uh, Pladium Mer, Quirion Dryad, a Talarian Kraken. Nice. Chandra's Magmut, which is the Chandra Border. Uh, Grasp Darkness, Silent Dart, Hunter's Edge, Sanguine Indulgence, Kinky, or er, Kinky. I'm thinking about magic right now. Uh, uh, cocky SOB. Uh, <laughs> library Larcenist. Revitalize and a Hobble Fiend. Hey, I don't judge what you're into, man. If you're into that, you're into that. Okay. Let's keep going. Beast token. A foil rewind and a Niambi esteemed speaker it's uh it's interesting I, I i don't think this is gonna be uh the kind of card you want to build a deck around and i'm not even sure if it slots well into any other deck uh furious rise selfless savior faith's fetters mistral singer anointed chorister okay so we've got a mistral singer and an anointed chorister so obviously this pack is all about the voice uh skeleton archer rise again Snare Spinner, Alchemist Gift, Frank and... <laughs> you know what it is. Makeshift Battalion and a Sure Strike. So we still got time to make up for the lackluster that was the first three packs. Whoop. Here we go. Hi. Hi. Ah. Heroic Intervention. Okay, that is a that is a hot reprint. That is something that I was very happy to see being spoiled as a reprint in this set because this card actually got up to above $20. It is one under green for an instant permanence you control gain indestructible and hexproof until end of turn. It's a, a very, very good card, especially for commanders. So yeah, if you're picking up boxes, you're going to be very happy to find those. Uh, Scorching Dragon Breath, Mind Rot, Rookie Mistake, Titanic Growth, Death Bloom Fallot, or Vitalize, Hobble Fiend and cancel maybe maybe for now on i'll just go ahead and just read the the good cards and we can just skip the commons you guys have seen what's uh what's in here i opened it from the top this time you know what that means uh i don't know you tell me what it means uh a zombie 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 bosry's lieutenant that has the potential to go infinite with a couple of different things as long as you have something that has uh uh, it's uh, it's undying, so it comes back with a plus one, plus one counter. And then this will give you a 2-2 two, two white knight, and then when that dies, it also gets a plus one, plus one counter. Uh, it, it's uh, it, 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 Some way it works. I don't know how it works. You just better ask Landon in our set review. I don't know how Basri's Lieutenant works. Wait, now i got to think about it. Yeah. I think I'm almost there. If you have a... Um, what is it called? Okay, so you need Micaeus. Cathar's Crusade. Okay, Cathar's... Okay, Cathar's Crusade. And a sack outlet. And a sack outlet. Then you create infinite amount of 2-2 White Knight creature tokens with Vigilance, and then you just need something else to, uh, you know, gain some value off of that. All right, we did it. All right, we got a Heroic Intervention this back. Yeah. Okay. Canopy Stalker. Uh, okay, uh, that's a... Bad deal. Sanctum Evolve hard full of fruits and then we'll just skip the commons because who needs the commons anyway all right we're getting messier we're getting messier soldier swamp forgotten sentinel and uh i think i saw a legendary um thing so it is it is rada the heart of kel very nice very nice. That is that is a good limited card, and there's potential to make a commander deck off of that. So that, that that's awesome. 
All right, that was it for that pack. So let's uh, collect these up, hand them into the void to my good friend Peter over here, who explained to me how Bad Series Lieutenant works. I handed that off to Landon in the server view because I didn't know how it works. And I'll be honest, I actually didn't look at Bad Series Lieutenant. I don't know why it skipped my radar. There's a couple of reds that I haven't even seen. Pack number 10. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. No, we're not. We're halfway there. Why am I lying to you? Why am I lying to you? All right. Pre-release promo number 10. Hmm. I have a feeling like this one's good. I, I have a feeling like this one is going to be hot stuff. That is all my guess. Chandra is an incinerator. Well, actually, that's a fairly really good card. I mean, I was thinking about this in, in, in some brews that I was making with, like, Torbrand or... Or, or even Perforos, and it's, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Think of it, you drop one creature with old Perforos from Theros, you deal two damage to each opponent, and Senator's Incinerator costs one red. So good. Another Solemn Simulacrum. It's not foil, but it is the borderless version. Very cool. A G Gadrak, the Crown Scourge. That is the fourth time we've opened up a Gadrak, and zero times we've opened up a freaking Teferi. Come on. Do-do-do, Grook's Harbringer, Kite Sail, oh, I did the wrong pile. <laughs> Kite Sail Freebooter, Reign of Revelation, and Dire Fleet Warmonger. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said that was a cow? Token, token, Liliana standard bear. Okay, now the, the, the Liliana border is really, really cool. I just I love the look of these. They're so they're so pretty. Okay, that goes there. Our mono or Jeskai Elder, Conclave Mentor, and a Shipwreck Dra Dowser. Absolute crazy dude opens up a bunch of packs. 18 freaking pre-release kits. And then dies. I will just die at the end of this video. Okay. Token. Token. Double vision. Double vision. Okay. So is double vision technically having two eyes? Because that's like... Or, or is it your vision is is your two eyes? So you have if you have double of it, you have, you have two sets of eyes. Okay. So that means having a best friend is double vision. Which means this card essentially says three red red make a best friend. All right. Falcon... Falconer Adept, Abstentiate, Silver, Smoke, Ghoul. In the comments. Whoa! Ah! What am I doing? Gadrak the Crown Scourge in the same pr What is up with this Gadrak? My word, he is needy as all heck. That's the fifth one. That is the second one we open in just this pre-release kit. Watch, it's gonna be a foil Gadrick in this pack. That would be freaking wild. Okay, it's a it's a foil cage zombie and then a see the truth. Okay. Pretty okay. Dulging Pat Patrician, Rin Windmare, and Havoc Gesture. Alright, well this pack had some some pretty good red i mean we had two gadrix that's kind of nuts and we had a double vision Liliana standard bear and a some select some simulacrum with a chandra's incinerator as the uh promo not a bad pack at all not a bad pack at all where are you teferi okay let's go if i do not open up a teferi in one of my boxes i will literally set the world on fire for the second time. All right. Pre-release kit promo is Maze Mind Tome. What a joke. What a joke. Okay, let's keep going. 
See, that's the kind of pre-release uh, promos that I get. Maze Mind Tome. If you open up a Maze Mind Tome as your pre-release uh, promo, you have my utter empathy. A foil Basri Cat. Hot diggity dog. With a feline sovereign as the rare. Oh, that is a... That is some... Oof. Wow. Good way to start off this uh, this pre-release kit. Get out of here. Grim Tutor. The first time we have seen Grim Tutor in this entire video. Nice. This is this this is magic. This is Magic the Gathering. And congratulations, Igor. Killer. Cure look. Curie luck. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but. Very good art. Very, very pretty. We have opened up two Mythic Rares already. That's pretty fantastic. Oh, that was in my rare slot. What am I doing? Right, this is a... Uh, this is nice. This is nice. A shackle, guys. Okay, well, you gotta have one bad pack in, in your two good packs, I guess. Whatever. Oh, opened it from the top this time. You know what that means. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Ruined Halo and a Sanctum of Calm Waters. Okay, well, that's a... Uh, ruined Halo is, is it's not bad and limited. Uh, I don't think I'd, I've ever seen it in Commander, though. I don't think I've ever seen it. Uh, apparently, it's a good modern staple. Maybe some plain uh, vintage, maybe legacy. I don't know. I have no idea how to play those formats. What the heck? Cards are running away from me now. Okay, token, token. Sporeweb Weaver. Okay, another spider. I, I, I'm going to read this one because I haven't actually seen it. Uh, protection from blue. When it's a dealt damage, you gain one life and create a 1 1 green sapling creature token. Okay. Not bad. Not great. Not bad either. Last pack. If you're going to be here, Teferi. Now's the time. Just kidding. There's like eight more boxes. Eight more kits. Okay, we've got a foil battle rattle shaman shamany woman. And a fabled passage. You know what? I'm always happy to see fabled passage. It's just it's just a good land, and I, I could always use more of them in my commander decks. Well, and in my other commander decks, of course. Because you can't have two of, them, uh, uh, two of the same card unless it's a basic land. Or unless it specifies otherwise. Or unless you cheat. You cheat. Ah, Grim Tutor. We do not... Ha Disclaimer. Command Valley does not condone cheating in your playgroup. If you're playing on your own, go ahead and cheat. Oi. Okay, we've got... Seven more boxes to go. Teferi's got to be in one of these. I cannot go home unless I open up a Teferi. I will not go home. I refuse to. I refuse to. Okay. Let's guess this pre-release pack. Promo. It is going to be... I think it's going to be my girl, Lily. Temple of Malady. Oh, that's how I feel right now. Holy cow. Temple of Sickness. So that means sickness in French. Fun French lesson for you guys. It's not actually Milady. Hey, wait a minute. I said Milady, and it was the Temple of Milady. Oh, I was on it. I was on it. Okay, okay, okay. This means it's going to be good. Ah, first Azusa. That's what I'm talking about. We. Oh, I can't wait to open up this card. We need, obviously, we need more of these in our commander decks. That moment that I thought Eugene was two dollars. Remember that? I remember that. Sporeweb Weaver. That's a, well, what a joke! What? What? A, what a disaster! That is a second one that I've opened. Not in this pre-release kit. Second garbage thing I've opened. Just kidding. We're not talking about magic cards that way. Every card has its own respectful purpose. And, you know, kind of like how in 
in life. You you don't make fun of the bad or you don't you don't curse the bad because without the bad that you wouldn't know what the good is and, and without the misery you wouldn't know what happiness is. So the thing is you you should be grateful for the hard times, the hard things that happen, because that makes you feel the happiness when the good things come. All right. Spouting some wisdom. Hey, a brass taunter. That's my favorite goblin right here. That is just I, I feel sorely underrated. And I, I feel like you're gonna you're gonna really feel how good it is when you see it across the table from you. And you're trying to swing in with a 10-10. And he blocks. And you take down damage and it fights you. And you, you're all of a sudden down to like 10 life. Yeah, good stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. I didn't even not know this was in here. Oh. Oh. Wow. A foil borderless alternate art cultivate. I need 17 of these. Arbitrary number, but I do. Wow. Wow. And a storm. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. These packs are really good for Commander. You're getting just some some super goodies and and this awesome awesome reprints for all of us to enjoy. This is my life. This is what happens when I live. Now it's like an operation. Okay. That was pretty easy. I take it back. Life is pretty fine. I'm a surgeon. Temple of... It was a temple of silence. Okay. Uh, last pack. I mean, this, this 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 isn't bad, honestly. If I was open up this, this would be a, a, a fun a fun commander uh, pre-release kit. Yeah, I don't necessarily know what you would build. Uh, I mean, you got the Brash Hunter, which is a, a super good limited card, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this pack will decide it for us. To Fairy's Ageless Insight. Yeah, that doesn't help, but that's a very good card. Fierce Empath. Very cool. Very cool. Let's collect all these up. Pass this out into the void. Six left and no Teferi. It's been seven days since I last looked at a Teferi card. Times are rough. Don't know how long I'll last. Alright. Make your guesses. Pre-release promo. I feel like it's gonna be a foil. Whoa, check that out. It's Transmorify. And it's foil. I was right. <laughs> Wild. Whack. Waiting for a pack to have some sort of like um, crimped cards. Those are the those are the coolest ones. Okay, we need to push this to the side. Oh, my deck fell apart. Okay, that's fine. Whoo! Uh, <laughs> you are getting on my nerves, Gadrick. What? Is it? That's a six one. It's a six one, Peter. You know what? That's fine. I've been paying attention. It's a good card, though. You won't be upset playing that in limited. Whoa. Okay, so this is... So we've got... Three Garouks so far. One regular. One alternate art... Um, Garouk border. And now we've got an alternate art borderless version. Very, very cool. Yeah, there's just... I love these versions. They're very, very pretty. And I can say pretty because he doesn't have black in his mana cost anymore. 
Otherwise, he'd be sexy as hell. All right. Animal Sanctuary. Wow, my home. This is where I live. If you ever need to come find me, this is where I live. Uh, my address is 555 Animal Sanctuary. I love dogs. Okay. Hiya. Let's keep going. Very good pack so far. Idol of Endurance. Enter the battlefield. Exile all creature cards with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard until Idol of Endurance leaves the grave or the battlefield. For one white tap until end of turn, you may cast a creature spell from among the cards exiled this way with Idol of Endurance without paying its mana cost. Not bad. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's not something we've usually seen in white before. Graveyard recursion for creatures. That's a that's it's a pretty cool card. I, I'm a fan. I am a fan. Wah! That one went on the ground this time. Okay, foil bolt hound into temple of temple of silence. Last pack. We still haven't opened up a Teferi. I am, I'm, I'm getting worried, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting worried. Another idol of endurance right after we opened one. Oh, hey, a Tormar's Crypt. That is that is also a hot reprint. Very glad to see a Tormar's Recrypt in uh, Tormar's uh, Tormar's Crypt in this. All right, I think that was the the last pack. That was the last pack of that one, and no to fairy. <sighs> it's fine, guys. I'm fine. They printed nine different. How do they expect you to collect them all? Like this thing? Gotta collect them all. Teferi. Video gets copyrighted. Not that <laughs> I don't know if that was an insult or, or a good thing. I can't tell. This is very passive aggressive. Alright, let's see. Nyambi, Nyambi, where is yo daddy? Come on. Jeez Louise. Who's yo daddy? How would it feel being an esteemed speaker when your dad literally controls time and phased out an entire city from existence? It's, uh, that, that, that's rough. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. Elder Gargaroth. Okay, I am going to make this um, prediction right now. Elder Gargaroth is going to be the questing beast of this set. It's going to jump up in price, and I think it's going to be above $25. That is my guess. Another Tormod script. Nice. See ya. Uh, pack leader. I mean, I'm always happy to see pack leader. I can't complain about pack leader. Uh, don't pay attention to me. All those were those CD. I apologize. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't slapped the packs. There we go. Now there's good luck in that. I haven't been doing this this whole time. No wonder I haven't got to fairy. Did I do that for the first pack? Is that why I got Eugene? Hooded Blight Fang. <laughs> Fine. Gotta have the good to have the bad. Gotta have the good to have the bad. I love Magic the Gathering. I love Magic the Gathering. I'm so nervous, guys. I'm so nervous. Come on, baby. Double vision. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's gonna be that's gonna be a good card in, in, in a lot of spell slinger decks, so I mean in Riku that's awesome great. 
our second double vision. One pack after another. That's the same thing that happened with the, the test of endurance. Very weird. Very weird. Oh my gosh. Having two tests of endurance. Or having two double visions out. Ooh, casting a volcanic geyser for six. Ugh, 18 damage to the face. It's pretty hot. Last pack with this one. Got a scavenging ooze. Not bad. Very spicy. Very spicy. Not as spicy as a freaking Teferi. Oh, pack number... Kit number four. Teferi baby, please come to me. You only cast things at sorcery. Here we go, pre-release pack, or pre-release promo pack. Well, Feline Sovereign. No, you gotta love these cats. Oh, is that almost crimped? That was almost crimped, that's a shame. These dice are everywhere. Guys, I'm absolutely insane. We, we, uh, we're we on pack number 14 of 18 pre-release kits. Beautiful. Brash Taunter. For our first foil for this pack. Or, I'm sorry, our first rare for this pack. Whoa. This pack feels heavier. You know what that means. There's a foil. Because in my hands I can detect the weight between micro ounces. I saw Teferi and I got excited, but it's a Teferi that eats its inside. Guys, my, my nerves are going wild right now. This whole set has Teferi on it. Teferi's prodigy into a maze mind tome. Come on. I am being. And a Teferi's tutelage. We've gotten every single card that says Teferi on it. If this pack does not have Teferi, I am going to scream. I'm going to literally lose my freaking mind. He's calling. He's, he's here. I know it. I know it. I'm calling it right now. If Teferi is not in one of these packs, then you can have my lunch money. Temple of Silence. Uh. I'm very adept at opening these packs, though. Get the ah! <laughs> you are very persistent. Our second Brash Taunter, man, that, how many packs do we have left? One more pack. Okay, get ready to see a fully grown man cry. All right, here we go. Containment Priest. It's okay, we still got uh, three more pre-release packs to go. Let's see. We have not seen Liliana or Teferi, my two favorite planeswalkers, and that doesn't feel good. But although maybe I'm just holding up my good luck for when I open up my own boxes. We'll see. We will see. All right, third to last. Is this gonna be the Lily kit or is this gonna be the Deferi kit? Let's find out together on this episode of where the heck is Deferi? Get out of here. I'm not even guessing anymore, man. I'm just, these promos are just garbage right now. Okay, let's do it. Pack number one of the third to last kit that we are doing tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching and for joining in this long, trying to help me get this Teferi. Track down Baron, Talarian Archmage. Okay, well it's blue, so we're getting closer. We're getting closer for sure. It's a, it's a 
separate. I'm having a hard time, like, separating these now. Right, the, the nerves are riding high, guys. The nerves are riding high. This kit is going to be it. I don't know. I'm just going to say that for every pack, and then hopefully I'll be right. Okay, foil meteorite into Joriel Monvuli Archmage. Sorry, Joriel. You're a cool card. You're not what I'm looking for. Demon, Dismal Blackwater, Sanctum of Shattered Heights, a Bosri Cat. Okay, this is the third Bosri Cat that we've gotten, and we haven't gotten a single Teferi. What is up with you, buddy? You're never going to be as good as Gideon. That was harsh. I'm sorry, Bosri. You didn't deserve that. That was just my frustration speaking. Hope you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. Liliana, Standard Bear, Standard Bear, Standard Bear. It's not a tutu, so I can't call it the Standard Bear. It has to be Standard Bearer. No, because that's how English is. We do that a lot, especially in the Midwest. We just drop letters when we feel like it. Swiftwater Cliffs, Shacklegeist. Man, I am so nervous that we're not going to get the Teferi. Or the Liliana. Man, that, uh, I mean, we did get Eugene. But that was the first pack. We have not been getting anything else that we wanted to for this entire time. Oh, wait, we've got one more pack. Oh, my gosh. Okay, buddy. I need some food. I'm going to go crazy. Push all these to the side. Get out of here. Primal <laughs> I've never been so unhappy to see a Primal Might. Actually, I don't think I've ever been happy to see a Primal Might. Maybe that goes into um, Zixara. I don't know. Maybe a budget version of Zixara. You never know. All right, that was kit, pre-release kit number three, or I guess number 16. We've got two left. Sorry guys, I just bumped the uh, the camera, so hopefully this is fine. Two more left. Let's do this one first. I feel good about this one. I feel good about this one. Some There's something very spicy in here. Something very spicy. Let's see what it is. Glorious Anthem. Okay, that's not spicy. That's not spicy. Okay, so it's in the packs, guys. It's in the packs. Don't worry. Don't worry. I haven't given up hope yet. I haven't given up hope yet. I haven't given up hope. Pursued with whale. That wasn't it, by the way. That wasn't the spicy thing. Maybe the spicy thing is how much of a joke it's gonna make me look like when there's nothing good in this uh, this release kit. Primal might. Okay, so that's two for two for terrible rares. I'm fine, guys. I am absolutely fine. We are fine. Okay, we got the Cultivate. It's not foil, but it is the borderless version. Very cool, very cool. And a Speaker of the Heavens. Okay, well, that was that was kind of spicy, but I don't think that was exactly what I was thinking. I, I don't think we've hit the spicy thing yet. I think the spicy thing has yet to come. Uh, animal Sanctuary. Ugh! Two more packs left. I'm going to look like such a joke. You guys will never trust me with any information on Magic the Gathering ever again. Might as well just be kicked out of the podcast. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Containment Priest. Ugh. Okay, we have got seven packs left and a promo pack to get to Fairy. Seven packs left. Okay, guys, now I'm getting nervous. Now I am definitely... Okay, Azusa. That is spicy. That is that is what I was talking about. That was the spicy thing. 
Okay, I'm, I'm not wrong, I'm just incorrect. The very last box. I know, I don't even care about the commons and the uncommons anymore. I don't care about anything but getting to fairy. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. I won't lie. I'll, I'll admit to you guys my weaknesses here. I'm very nervous. Nine lives as our promo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think we're going to go slower on these last packs. Because I want there to be as much stress as possible on myself. Our first rare, or our first uh, rare of the day, is Hooded Blightfang. Yep, just move it all over here. We don't care about anything right now. We are literally mindless slaves to the idea of getting to fairy. A knight, a rugged highland, Double vision. I'm sorry, double vision. I, I I am happy to see you. It's just, it's just, I just I just need some time. I just need some time. Okay, pack number three. Scavenging is <laughs> three packs left. Three packs left. There's got to be Teferi in one of these. We have opened up what's some something odd of like 64 packs. And we have not opened up a single Teferi. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Blossoming Sands. Primal Might again? I think the universe is taunting me now. I feel legitimately... It's like, I will give you Eugene. I will give you a full art, borderless Eugene, the very first pack. And then after that, you will never get anything you want ever again. Second to last pack. Nine lives. Got a nine lives. I can't take this anymore. Can't take it anymore. The very last pack. All right, well, it's very unlikely that we're going to get to fairy, guys. I hate to tell you. If I do get to fairy, if we do get to fairy, I will give up half of my points on Duels of the Peaks. Half of them. I'll start from halfway. Heroic Intervention as our last rare. Teferi didn't make it. Liliana didn't make it. We did get the Eugene, which was very, very hot. Here, let's 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 bring up the Eugene again so we can end off on a good note. I'll give this to Peter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we opened up together 18 pre-release kits, and the best thing that we opened is Eugene the Spirit Dragon, a non-foil, full art, borderless version. That is fantastic. This is the kind of cards that you want in these boxes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for joining in. I'm sorry we didn't get to Fairy, but we'll maybe do another box opening. Uh, well, maybe we'll just keep doing box openings until I get a darn to Fairy. But uh, with that, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around. Reminder to like and subscribe. Uh, keep up to date with the videos that we post. We also have deck techs that come out every single Monday and are gameplay series duel of the peaks that is going to be releasing very soon all right guys thanks for watching and we will see you next time peace